Hi everyone, this is Marissa from the Bucks County Audubon Society and today I am going to be teaching you how to create your own coloring pages, stationery, letters, whatever sort of scrap paper you might need, but we're making seed paper. So what you're going to need for this is a whole bunch of native wildflower seeds and paper that you've already put in the recycling can. Get that back out and we're going to be making paper upcycled paper using all of the post-consumer waste. You will need parents' help for this to be using the blender, but from there, all you'll need is the seed and the paper mush that we're gonna make. What you're gonna need to do first is you're gonna need to rip up any of your recycled paper. You can pull it right out of the recycling bin. Rip it up into tiny, tiny pieces. And when I say tiny, I mean, this is way too big. This is way too big. This is still too big. So we're gonna want to rip it up into small bits because we're gonna be putting this into our blenders with some water to make mush. So tiny little bits. Then you're gonna pop it into a bowl. Material wise, you are also going to need a towel. And this is a terry cloth towel. It's reusable, so it's eco-friendly. If you don't have any and all you have are paper towels, that will work too, but we just wanna reduce some of the waste. You will also want a flat board, like a cutting board, or um, a table with some newspaper lining it to dry our eventual, our paper pulp. You are finally going to want seeds, your wildflower seeds. Please make sure that they are native seeds to your area. That way you're not planting anything that's actually gonna be an invasive and outcompete the other good plants that are here. So I have um, some milkweed and a wildflower pollinator mix, which when I look at the back, any mix should tell you right on the back there what's included. And this has daisies, coreopsis, um, coneflowers, more coneflowers, and clover in it, as well as bee balm. So these are all native to my area. So just take a look and make sure that they are. And we're gonna be using that in our mushy, mushy pulp mix is when we'll add the seeds. So, rip up your paper and pop it in the bowl. Depending on how many sheets of paper you want to make, use all of your recycling if possible. But if this is all you have, that's okay too. You might only make one or two sheets of paper, but it still is, something fun. So rip it up and pop it in. Once we have finished tearing all of our paper up, we're gonna to want to put it into our blender and add the water. So you're going to fill your blender about halfway full with the paper that you've torn. Once you have it about halfway full, I can see that there's some empty space here at the bottom, so I compensated for that a little bit. I'm going to now fill this to the very top line here so find the lines on your blender and then see where it says max liquid and pour liquid up to there. This may seem like a lot of liquid for the amount of paper that you have, but keep in mind that this will all help the drying process go smoothly and make sure your paper is nice and thin. 
Now put the lid on and blend it up until it's a really fine, fine, mushy, gushy pulp. seeds. It may look like there's still a lot of water in there, but that's okay. That extra water is going to help blend the seeds in well. To make sure that they are native to your area, you can do that by looking on the back and making sure that all of the species, especially in wildflower mixes, make sure all the species are native to this area. You can find native species in your area online you can go on google and find them out and then do a compare and contrast to see and make sure that all of the species on the back match up to the natives in your area you can also find your area on a map and use the audubon societies national audubon societies native plant finder where you type in your zip code if you know it to find native plants that way You can use your hands to mush it around. You don't want to blend this because that could chop up the seeds and you don't want to chop the seeds up. Once you think that they've been blended in well, now we're going to strain out that extra water. Alright, so I've got my strainer here. I'm just going to pour my paper and seed mixture in here. Get that. You can push it around a little bit just to get the excess water out. And if you have a separate bowl handy to put the strained pulp into, that will help the process go faster. I'm not pushing the pulp through the holes. I'm not smushing it down because the pulp is fine enough that you could lose some, some pulp and seeds through those holes. I'm just kind of moving it around to help get the water out. Ooh, look, you can still see some seeds that did manage to fall through the strainer. Look how much water I was able to get out of that pulp, that little batch of pulp. So a great idea might be if you're doing this in the spring or the summer, use this to you know, throw that outside in the garden and see if any of those little extra seeds germinate. Now comes the time to spread the pulp out. So we're gonna take our board and cover it with our towel. It's okay if some of it is off of the board because we're gonna fold that back over. Then take your pulp with all the water out of it. We're gonna smush that into a flat, flat layer over top of the towel onto the board. You want to make it as thin as you possibly can. Make sure there's no like holes or extra gaps, like there's some holes there. Fold that over, press it down a little bit, and then you're going to set that aside to dry. You want it to dry fully on both sides, and once it has dried fully, and when I say fully, I mean fully, then you'll be able to cut it into whatever shape you want. But set it aside to dry, then you'll be good. You can see that once it dried, that there's one nice big piece in the middle. That'll be great for paper. But there were some on the edges that fell off. I'm 100% okay with that. These will be really easy to stick in my compost and have grow or use as like seed bombs that I can scatter outside. And you can color on it. You can write letters. You can do all sorts of fun things with your new paper. And don't forget, instead of throwing it out when you're done, throw it outside and beautiful wildflowers will come out of it.